What's up YouTube, Electric Kicks here, back at it again with another video and today we have something different. We're going to be going over the Air Jordan 3 Reimagined, boom, here is a sneaker and I was super excited to get this pair. There's a couple things I like about the shoe, a couple things I don't, but let's go ahead and get into it. Now starting with the box, here's going to be the box, you do have that distressed look all around the box. Kind of like the reimagined Jordan 1s or the lost and founds, what they call them. Now we do have the Nike Air. And this is a size 9. Unfortunately, it's not my size. It's actually my older brother's sneaker. Uh, I will be getting a pair soon. So hopefully I get that soon. I will also be styling that shoe. So I'll be making a video on outfits for the Jordan 3. But bam, let's go back into the shoe. Um, overall, pretty satisfied with the shoe. The quality was pretty good. This pair right here didn't have any defects on it, so I was super happy about that. Now, one thing I do want to talk about the shoe uh, is pretty much the aged look on it. That's what gives it the whole reimagined look to it. As you guys can see, we do have all of that vintage beige aged look to it, which I think is really cool, but me personally, I'm not too big of a fan. Now, this sneaker retailed at... I believe it was 210 and that's because we do get that Nike Air on the back. Now there wasn't too many pairs, a lot of them did, uh, these did go by fast, they did sell out. Now I do believe for men's pairs there's around like 220,000 and compared to the lost and founds I believe there was more of those so this release is actually pretty hard to get. Uh, I was expecting a lot more, but unfortunately, they didn't release as many as I thought. But let's go ahead and get back into the shoe. Boom, here's going to be the outsole of the sneaker. It's going to be all gray, red, red Nike on there with that aged beige tan look onto it. Moving on to the midsole, we do have that aged vintage cream tan brushed on there with the black. Now, talking about the midsole on these sneakers, the quality is there. There is a little bit of brush marks that you can see, but overall, the quality is still pretty good. No major defects on this pair. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you are looking to buy a pair, be careful buying from GOAT, StockX, eBay, just any of those sites because you don't know what you're going to get. Well, with eBay, you see the photos, but the GOAT, StockX, those other ones, because there's a lot of defects. There's many, many reports of like the back tabs being uneven and just like a lot of things being uneven, stitchings off, glue stains, all of that. And that's just what happens when they mass produce a shoe in such a short period of time. So just keep in mind when you are shopping for one, but back into the sneaker do have that beautiful elephant print and I will say the quality on the elephant print just feeling it pr pressing down on it it's a not too thick of a cut of leather but I will say it is very very nice it's soft you can feel that texture going on to the mud guard we do have nice smooth leather onto there and the cut of the leather is actually pretty thick on this so we are looking at nicer quality for this release now moving on to the toe box we do have that tumbled pressed on leather i will say the cut of the leather on the toe box isn't as thick as the fire red threes that recently released last year those after wearing them the leather really wore in nice and it's nice and tumble hopefully the same thing happens with this pair after wearing it a couple times it will soften up but at first glance of the shoe it's not bad it's good but do I want to compare it to the other, the Fire Red 3s? I think the Fire Red 3s were better, but one thing to keep in mind again, this shoe can come with many defects. I know a lot of people have been getting pairs that have like the nice tumbled leather, and then on the other sneaker, they'll have super flat leather. But fortunately for this pair, everything turned out really, really nice. Moving on to the tongue, do you have that soft, smooth leather on there? with that red jump man stitched onto there white laces with the eyelets with that cream vintage look to it then you have those red dots on the eyelets at the very bottom perforations on the tongue for breathability 
going to the back tab you guys know i like the nike air on the back tab i think it makes every jordan retro a lot lot better and the thing is it is aged personally i wish it was just white clean but i will say the aged look on this does really resemble actual pairs from 88 and how they actually do age so i think they did a really really good job replicating that age look just for me i'm not personally a fan of that going on to the insole do have nike air in there no extra laces unfortunately uh, i'm pretty sure the originals didn't come with any extra laces so that's just how it is and you do get the hang tag on here as well nike air on the hang tag plastic hang tag uh just cool little simple touches that really make the shoe come to life now talking about sizing for the sneaker go true to size i want you to size on my fire red threes i hear that these fit true to size this is my brother's pair uh he's a size nine so i wasn't able to try these on but he says they fit fine i'm slightly on the wider side and with my fire red threes they were a little bit tight at the beginning but i will say these shoes after you wear them a couple times they do break in very very nicely so i do recommend wear the shoes even if they're just a little bit tight wear them they do loosen up a lot these materials have a lot of give to them especially after being worn but if you do like a looser fit go half size up if you want a really snug fit you can go half size down but i do recommend going true to size uh, yeah go true just go true to size that's what i would recommend uh in any other jordan threes or even if you wear jordan ones it, Whatever your size is in Jordan 1s, Jordan 3s, go true to size. These will fit just fine. Now, talking about the resale, these retailed at 210. Resale is not too high right now. A lot of people have received their online pairs, so we're looking around 260, 280, depending on the size. I do recommend if you do want this shoe, buy it now because over time, this shoe 100% will shoot up. Now, is it a shoe that's going to shoot up right away? No. It's gonna take several, several months for this shoe to go up, but I will say right now is the best time to buy the shoe because all the deals, all the people just got their pairs, all the people trying to get rid of the pairs because the prices are going down. So buy it right now, that's the best time to buy it. But yeah, um, stay tuned for that outfit video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.